Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about leadership positions at tech school. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably someone who is getting ready to go to basic training and you're just trying to learn things before you join. Maybe you're a family member. Maybe you're someone who has a break in training and you're waiting to go to tech school. Well, whatever the case may be, let me tell you about our amazing sponsor, Sandbox. I personally use Sandbox when I was at BMT. Your friends and family can send letters from anywhere with their mobile app, which makes it super convenient. And I always receive my Sandbox letters a whole lot faster than I receive traditional mail. So if you're someone getting ready to go to BMT, make sure you download the Sandbox app and share it with your friends and family so you can receive letters faster whenever you're at BMT. Now, if you're somebody watching this who is not a BMT, if you're already past that point, or if you're a family member, Sandbox has so many resources for you as well. So be sure to check them out at sandbox.us. Starting out with the leadership positions, we are gonna talk about the ropes. Now, the reason they're called ropes is because they wear a colored rope on their left shoulder whenever they are in uniform and the color of that rope signifies the position that they have. Let's talk about stoplight ropes. The reason they are called stoplight ropes is because everyone starts out as a green rope as you kind of promote, then you go yellow and then red. Not everybody gets to become yellow and then red. It just depends on how many positions are available and when you are going to be graduating from tech school. Stoplight ropes are the student leaders while you're at tech school. So comparing to BMT, it is like the dorm chief and element leaders, they are trainees. Just like you, they just have more authority and responsibility. So at tech school, the stoplight ropes are your student leaders. They are airmen just like you. They just have more authority and responsibility. Stoplight ropes are considered first in your chain of command. So if there's any issues that need to be dealt with, you take it to a rope first to try to handle things at the lowest level instead of jumping straight to an MTL. So essentially stoplight ropes are making sure problems are being handled properly. They call accountability at formation, duct open ranks, and they make the detail schedule. But overall, they are basically making sure everybody is following the rules. And if you're not, the stoplight ropes are able to pull your 341s. Yes, you still have 341s at tech school. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, no. So if you are late to formation, a stoplight rope will have to go up to you and pull a 341 and then they have to write their reason on it that you're getting it pulled and then they turn it into an MTL. And then the MTL will call you in later to talk about it. So that is something that still happens. So you need to make sure that you are following the rules at all times. The next rope is the teal rope. And this is your sexual assault awareness rope. There's typically one male and one female. That way there's always someone that people feel comfortable going to. So if you have anything from the past that you wanna talk about, or if there's anything currently happening or you know of a major situation, the teal rope is the person that you would go to. But if there is a situation that you don't feel comfortable talking to them about, they are your SARC liaison. So they will get you in contact with the sexual assault response coordinator. That way they can help you handle the situation properly. So teal ropes are responsible for handling sexual assault prevention and response issues. So anything like that, you would go to them. And they also are mandated reporters. So if there's any major issues going on that they need to tell somebody, they are required to do so, so it can be handled accordingly. And next you have white ropes, which are your chapel guides. There is one male and one female, and their job is to give you information about your religious services. So when you come to tech school and you wanna find a religious service that fits your needs, you can always go to your white ropes and ask them if they have any recommendations of services that they have heard of, and they can help you find that information. Next are black ropes, and they are our student drill team. There's no male, female requirement for this one, and their responsibilities are the guide on bearer, to sing Jody's as we march to school, and they also make the road guard schedule. So we talked about all the ropes, but there are still other leadership positions that need to be mentioned because even though they don't wear a rope on their shoulder, they are still so very important. So these type of positions may differ from each tech school committee, which is a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer, and they handle any parties, any finances, also setting up any volunteer events. CAOs, which is a public affairs officer, no, they're not actually officers, they're airmen. Their job is to take pictures and post it. And the last job is the most important job of all, and that is being a mentor. The job of the mentor team is to welcome new airmen to tech school, be the smiling, friendly face that they need when they first arrive and they have no clue what's going on. The job of the mentor is to kind of give them a rundown, teach them the rules and help acclimate them to the environment that they're going to be in in tech school. So with all of that being said, those are the leadership positions that you can expect from tech school. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe.